Because the cycle of Didi, Nada and Chantal has not ended at this point, Chantal started the month getting outed as someone who had tried to get Nada to come to her hotel because payday was around and she really needed a jolly good beezing. Do you look at Nada? Do you think he's the type who will beg anybody for anything? Like I said, hotel rooms at night are lonely. And I was, I mean, I was trying, I was talking to the different... Maybe I shouldn't be saying this. I'm supposed to see Kevin later. Now that we hate Natter again, did you sleep with the guy the other night? Yeah. And I sent him the picture before I blocked him again on Messenger. So that's who I saw my friends. It was Tony. Yeah, we hooked up a bunch of times in the same night. It was awesome. And in between, I was going to the bathroom and looking up what Natter was doing. A few moments later. All right, so last night I was really lonely and I don't even remember if I had to unblock him at this point. We block and unblock. It's the sign of a cross. I feel like I have an emotion hangover. I'm so tired. I got the compulsion and the urge. I'm like, it's like a panic. Like, okay, I haven't heard from him all day. It's like I haven't had my like natter fix. Like usually if I can see, like if I, like I said, like if I can like see what he's doing on his videos, then it's like, it's like a fix. It's so weird to explain. I can't explain it. So I called him. You answered my call coughing already. Or no, I can't remember what I said. I'm like, well, how about you come over here and we'll talk about it in person. Now, I bet none of you are thinking, surely this is one of the dumbest things to have ever played out or been said by Foodie Beauty. And you'd be wrong. We're only on the first. She also said this. Okay, weed care package. Her message also said, she's like, since I didn't come for sex, she said pre-cum. She's loopy. She thinks that pre-cum. So if you're graped, there would be cum, not pre-cum. So many things don't make sense. And I have a brain too. While still on the 1st of July, because so much happens in such a short space of time, Chantal put out a live stream 13 minutes long since deleted called Hi, during which she has a massive nervous breakdown about the entire situation she is in, declaring that she will go to a psych ER because she needs medication. I would say, if you really believe pills are the solution to all your problems, you might not understand how to help yourself. Now this spiraled even further over the course of the same day because Chantel wants to know more about the situation concerning May and Nada. May is escalating this further and on the 3rd of August, that was when it was at the point of July 2022, it was believed to go to a courtroom for a first hearing. Chantel putting out, I just want the truth too. And after saying a few other things, Nada ended up putting out a live stream or doing a live stream where he ended up going through all the screenshots of messages between him and I believe Chantel. We're still on the first, and there's more. I would get desperately lonely, I guess, you know, and just think, well, he is really nice to me. I'm not, I like when I'm like all over a guy and I can't get enough and I can't wait for you to f get home so I can give your brains out, you know? I don't get those urges with Kevin. I just wanted him to go. I just like really, really, really big wieners. <laughs> I don't like men who have small wieners. I'm a big woman, I have a poopa. If Kevin's real, and there are many who believe that Kevin was not at this point, one does have to wonder if Kevin has all that you need. Earlier I mentioned that Nada has a court hearing on August the 3rd. Chantel has made the decision that she is going to go to that as well. I'm going to leave that as the last thing for the first day of the month because there was so much more and I really can't be asked to go through all of it. We have many more days to get through after all. Not too bad, could have been better, but not too bad. Right. <laughs> Everybody can be a winner, but I'm sorry today is not your turn. <laughs> I want that guy's job. Yeah, I'm giving you something wholesome before we dive back into the quagmire that is this absolute travesty of a lifestyle. On the 3rd of July, via the channel Piggy, we found out that Foodie Beauty still really can't let go of the things she's trying to wean herself off of, yet it simultaneously keep going back to Daddy Naddy. And I mentioned the channel Piggy, by the way, because I can't be asked to go find it. So I'm getting a clip instead. Win! Whatever, I looked pathetic asking him to come over. Don't make it sound like you don't want the fupa when we all know you do. You even said, whenever you're not mad at me, you whisper, oh, I love the fuba. You know why I love your fuba? It's the biggest fuba i ever seen. You need to get laid and I will help you. Oh, that's nice. At this point, it is believed that Chantal had already given Kevin, this rumored beau of hers who may be lacking in the penile department, 150 Canadian dollars. She also, on her community tab, wrote, I miss Roman. 
to me, this comes across as someone who is desperately trying to latch on to someone as a permanent replacement for Nada, potentially better than Nada. At this point, for reasons I can barely fathom, Nada seems to be the benchmark for all potential suitors. Now granted, that benchmark is quite low, but so apparently are Chantel's standards, along with her addiction to anything with a pulse that she can get herself onto. So this is the last time, for real, I'm ever, ever, ever talking about Chef Bum Al Shami or Doodoo. So I see you were talking again about me, and I don't care because you're gonna have to probably resort to using my name to get any views after this, but you're a liar. A huge liar. Huge liar. Like, how can you sit there and lie? Every single problem you're experiencing right now is your own fault. Like, get that through your head and stop blaming me every chance you get you actually think you have a case against me for defamation i don't know what your point is like the only reason you're in any problems any trouble is your own actions like what don't you get about that now there's a slight gray area here because many of the sources got deleted before i could download them these would include a stream titled oops i did it again nada unblocked chantelle on messenger which she then took as being manipulative. Nada replied by saying he was doing it to keep all her messages to show his audience and use if when he files charges against her. There were also a number of screenshots. Now these screenshots concerned what she said to Nada. It was discussed in a Gorlick Bread channel video. Thing is, that video is no longer available. That could be because of Nada later on in August going on a flagging spree, or it could be something referenced by Chantel here in a community post. Lamal Wow, what has a certain reaction channel proved by posting my messages? That you are an abuser and alleged apologist. Yes, I flipped out on him. Having a trauma bond with someone you are trying to get over will do that. So, again, what are you proving? That I am crazy and unstable for trying to contact a baiting manipulator who is now realizing he is screwed and is now trying to be the victim? You are helping an evil man. I was under his love spell, but you have no excuse other than being bitter and I called you out lol. Sad. And you will get your karma too. I never understood why women would stay with their abusers so long and used to call them weak. Well, karma has taught a lesson me, a lesson firsthand. I know one day I will be thankful for that lesson. But until then, yes, I see how important it is for me to really ghost all these soul-sucking leeches and finally start healing. You may have made me look crazy one last time, you manipulative monster, but I promise you, it is your last. <clears throat> now I think you have more important things to worry about, such as an S.A case oof. In an attempt to try and break away from the cycle that is Foodie Beauty, she felt a rebranding was in order. To do this, she changed her name to something, but she did do a poll first. You have Chantal Polis, The Life of Chantal, Excelsior Chantal, Happily Ever Chantal, and Foodie Beauty. 826 votes on this image. Would you like to guess what won? Well, it wasn't The Life of Chantal, but she did change it to that briefly, before eventually changed my name to Chantal. Don't worry folks, she's already back to foodie beauty, it didn't last long at all. Why on earth she asked for audience participation when 66% of the 2.1k votes on it said foodie beauty. Second place, Chantelpolis. Life of Chantel, the one she briefly went with, came third. Be his prom date. <laughs> oh my god! I'm old enough to be his mom, am I? Oh god, that's hot. Wait, how old is he? Now in an attempt to prove she was super serial about breaking away well and truly from Nada and having nothing to do with him at all, she put her plush that meant so much to her, I believe was a gift from him, into the skanky pot on her balcony. A clear sign that she has well and truly walked away, and given that poor defenseless plushie a fate worse than death, an eternity in Papa Nurgle's cauldron. Now I'm going to name three streams that Chantal has since gone on to delete. Debbie calls me names and thinks she has a case. Getting triggered again, sorry. And I hate him. Chantel really couldn't let go and raged like there was no tomorrow. Don't worry, I've got clips for all of that. Buckle up, this one's going to be interesting because she even called him while he, Nada, was live. To then get ragey again in something called You Are A Joke. They want me to do a story time about Lachine. Yeah, you get my blood boiling, Granny. Then don't watch me obsessively while you're on C.H. Robinson time. Who wants to be blocked? Goodbye. If you have a problem with me defending myself, you're not a beezer. You can suck my balls. These people are have a live stream saying they're going to 
sue me and talk to a police officer. I had to call and unblocked him. What does she, what does this bitch have to say to my face? Let's see what they have to say. You gave me pussy PTSD. Oh, oh that's nice. Thank you. Doo doo, I heard you call me Kool Aid Man. So I really don't think you have a case of harassment against me. <sighs> okay, I have, to, I don't like this chat because it's too fast. I can't read shit. A normal BMI. Ooh, no, not a normal BMI. Who the hell does she think she's calling Kool Aid Man? Look at you. You literally look like a man. Oh, that's nice. So I know you're watching Doo Doo, friggin' dummy. I, I I just happened to see that there's a cease and desist letter on his phone. You didn't even spell my name right. It's not Sororo. I will not cease and desist to talk about you. If you don't want me to share threesome stories, that's just bad. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, no, no, no. Hey, uh, no, listen, 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 Kool-Aid listen, listen, gal, listen, shut listen, the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. Listen. We're not, we're Thank God. Listen, what? We were gonna say I see everything in your face when you call last time. You call last time here in my live stream. Everybody watch it. And you say everything online. I just saw receipt. Talking about my ex. No, I have no time to waste. Bye, Chantal. Listen, we're having fun with these people. We're having fun with these people. We have nothing to say. Bye, bye. Tomorrow you're gonna, you're gonna, bye. gonna I'm gonna answer you. I'm gonna answer you. Oh, that's nice. I'm okay, but I'm just annoyed. The stupid asshole thinks he's gonna like go somewhere tomorrow and what have me charged. I'm going first thing in the morning to the fucking got no police to tell his probation officer all the harassing he's been doing when he was had a fucking protective order. So good luck. You wanna threaten legal action against me for what? Messaging you and you won't block me? Okay. The judge will literally tell you to block me and go away. Oh, that's nice. Something I haven't alluded to yet is something that has been going on for a little while, and that is the feud between the two dainty girls in the form of Amberlyn Reed and Chantel. They no longer see eye to eye. No more of the opportunities presented for them to collab, for us to watch them mukbang and bees it together. Get white girl drunk and starfish each other. That's the only Fupa content that'll get this video demonetized. Now in this instance, what had happened was Amberlynn Reed had gone to Nada's YouTube channel while he was streaming and apologized to him. She had claimed that her psychiatrist had encouraged her to do so, which does reek of a little sus. Chantel had deleted the following message here. Chantel, I apologized because I needed to do it for myself. This was not about you. I should never call someone a narcissist. It was stupid of me, that's literally it. Well, it was quite the moment, I'll give you that. For this, Amblin Reed kind of got blocked on Chantel's channel. Nada saw this and said, I just want to thank you for coming to my live stream. Your apology shows you are a good person. I really appreciated emojis, respect. Also, sorry for what this person said about you, it's pathetic. A spoiler in advance, the drama concerning Foodie Beauty and Amberlynn Reed continues into August. It becomes even more pathetic when the word cankles gets used. What the f*** are you doing in the middle of the night, sucking up? You're supposed to be my friend, you dumb frigging loser. You're sucking up to a piece of sh abuser. Are you for real? And his new supply. Good luck. Up to this point we haven't really discussed for the month of July that is Chantel's community tab which as you all know is deleted on a semi-regular basis which means we have to archive them very quickly. For example the best way to get over someone is to get under someone new. Best advice. That and self-love and worth emojis. With the reply, the only thing you're getting under is a Nashi rapper whilst you obsessively watch Nada and Didi at their picnic. And Dude, you were getting so desperate to make me jealous and to get views. I roll emoji. We all be knew that you were a law this whole time, and this just confirms it. I think she meant liar. Hey, I had to kiss her too, and it was cold and clammy. My turn to put you in your place again? Nah. Everyone sees how you are an essay shaming abuser who is probably going to prison, but keep plowing DD. Looks like you're kissing your father here. With the Jean Cotou, whatever that is. No one cares. You are evil and gross and smell of smokes. This was your next supply set up the whole time. Now you can freely admit to your lies because you lost me for good. And now you realize it and can be open and free about your relationship with Grandma Doodoo. Congrats guys, poop emoji. Now some point in July or June, 
Chantelle turned off comments to all her videos while live streams on playback, that is, so no one can engage with her and send her the positivity she has built up through her own empire. The only comments she gets otherwise are through her live stream chat, and that's always set to members only. But with a We Are Getting Matching Apartments live stream from the 11th of July, it was archived just before that, so we have some comments to go through. Yes, Boss Chantel. Twice the utilities, twice the rent, twice everything. You're such a smirt businesswoman. And Pete's will be safer without Tinder hookups tracking through. Look at how violent Nada is to him. Still, P.S. Leave Saggy alone. She deserves a better quality of friend. Oh, and my favorite. You're a predator. Oh, well, stay mad laughs. That's all anyone needs to know about foodie beauty Chantal Soralt. Compared to other content that she has live streamed, this is quite a short one at only an hour and eight minutes. I'm still not playing it for you. You don't deserve that kind of pain. Now after this, there's a minor issue on my end of about seven days. I burnt out, okay? So I stopped looking. I've been pretty good for the first six and a half, seven months. Yeah, well, we're gonna have to skip ahead from the 11th, so it's nine days, to the 20th of July, 2022. If there is anything worthwhile in the middle of that, do let me know in the comments down below. How are you gonna accomplish all these things when you can't break? So, because different things, well, the boxes, no, I can't do the boxes. They're just too overwhelming. Like, I just let them get too overwhelming. If I had, like, each box, when I receive it, break it down and bring it out, it would be different. Or even just the black box, every Tuesday bring it out. But it's to a point now where I have to get a junk removal. Like, the boxes are huge, full of boxes, we're not physically capable. It's 90 degrees. So I'm not physically well enough right now or mentally to deal with f***ing boxes. I have money to hire 1-800-GOT-JUNK for $400. I'm sure many of you have seen in many of her live streams Trash Mountain. This is what she is referring to. It's quite a tragic state of affairs where 32 degrees Celsius is enough to stop you from tearing boxes apart even though you were doing it when it was colder as well, i.e. not actually tearing the boxes apart ever, and wasting $400 getting someone else to simply collect them. The person that collects that is undoubtedly going to think, this is the easiest payday of my life because all I have to do when I go home is burn it. You also mentioned how you and Pete's are not physically able to do this anymore, to break these boxes. You're only a few years older than me. Breaking boxes is not difficult. Use a pair of scissors, if they're Amazon boxes, cut the tape, or tear it if you have strong enough hands, and fold them. This is not complicated, it takes a minute of your time, and the extra steps to go and put it in the bin will do you the world of good anyway. Community post from Chantel. Police came, took a report, but since the that they felt wasn't actively targeting me, but seemed to be rather targeting Dee Dee in a cycle of intimidation. There is not much they can do. They think he is just S-talking right now, so shrug shoulders. They also said he has not sent me or had anyone send me any direct threatening messages in a while. They flat out said they are not interested in hearing about the charges that were already dropped as well. That is your update and I'm honestly so dumb, period. With a follow-up community post reading, you are going away, abusive inhuman monster. You threatened to unalive on your video. Compared to previous months, and as we are near a payday this time around, they're not hooking up this time, I promise you that. But we did get an update in video form from Chantel where she said the following. I'm not gonna be on here long. I've been driving around all f***ing day and I've been really trying hard not to freak out because yesterday I was like, you know what? I'm in Gatineau and I probably shouldn't talk about where I am or what I'm doing because it's probably not the best idea. My main thing is, is getting a restraining order on this person and just telling my whole story and letting them decide what to do with it. I went to the Gatineau police, but since the recent events are not in Gatineau, I don't, you know, I went there to the police station and I said, can I request that a female police officer come to my house, please, to discuss some things on a domestic abuse case, some death threats that are on live. So I think anything else I do right now, I'm just gonna like keep private because again, like this is a dangerous situation. He's not locked up yet and he's threatening people's lives. Now I've given you some context of Foodie Beauty's side. I am not going to go into it fully because I think it gets too dark, too fast, and I do address some of it later on with something else that I'll link down below. But to finish the month off, Chantel decided a little 
step backwards might well do her the world of good, where she appeared on live with Roman L. Roman. Stop porting Roman! What? I'm not! I thought it was his jam for a minute. That wasn't his jam. I thought it was his jam. No, that was Nicka Carter. Yeah, what happened in Vegas stays in Vegas. People are going to trick you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I thought it was his jam. Oh, he doesn't know it's coming. So that was that was his jam. And I guess I should pay you, I guess. Yeah, but maybe not. Because you're a celebrity. This is the best day ever. Hey. Do you kiss or not? Chantal and Roman, did you guys kiss or not? I they fuck. Not with me, Roman. Excuse me. Come on. Ah, Who's she wants Roman. Who's Ariel? I want Chantal. Where is Ariel? <laughs> we have to get, get Ariel back. Oh, that's nice. My Jafar ring has been worn by someone else. You're gonna have to try harder to make me jealous than wearing a hand-me-down, first of all, a ring that I paid for. Oh, that's nice. So, actually, today's nails were paid for by a man with a nail fetish. So, I mean, hey, check it out. Anyway, so, as you can tell by the title of this video, stream, I just want to let everyone know that Monty's a piece of shit. Foodie Beauty's making the DV and SBL's thing all about her. Like, really? You're a f I'm also, in case you haven't noticed, a victim of domestic violence, which you were f pointing out the whole time I was with Natter. Oh, that's nice. Unlike other months, Chantal- oh, I can't do that with a straight face. Chantal has given us a live stream live weekly schedule. Hi, Beezers. From August the 3rd to September the 1st, 2022. Exciting time to be a Beezer. Today, I'm finally putting my new arc into play. I love the grammar. The glow up arc for travel beezing in the future. So, I realized that the first step was making a daily routine and consistently sticking to it for long enough for it to become a daily routine of good habits. Every day, I will do this for 30 days and you will join me. I'm starting this tomorrow only because today I need to finish preparing for this new routine lifestyle. I'm doing massive amounts of laundry and other planning. The schedule is the exact same thing every single day of the week. I guess unlike Amblin Reed, at least she's consistent in doing exactly what she says she'll do. Kind of. The walking outdoor thing? No. The, um, cooking and eating? She does plenty of the eating. Um, the, the glow up routines? You'll understand why I'm not. Well, no, she, she no. We'll, we'll get to all that soon. Because instead we're going to show what Chantal really started the month doing, and then go from there. What happened to Michael Super Petty? He was kind of mean. Kinda. He was a fat, smelly, pimply-looking teenager. Are you kidding? At 30. Another asshole who had, had the nerve to make fun, even though I don't like Amberlynn at all. I can't stand her face anymore. I remember the- I remember, like, hearing him be like, she has, like, big lobster claw mitts or something. Like, what do you think your whole fucking face looks like a bloated asshole? What I find fascinating about that clip is not long after, she admitted to being a fake-ass bitch while claiming everyone she was ragging on was a fake-ass bitch. Now, something we all love to do here is when Chantal kinda goes off on one, Insert Pete's, who finds a way to just turn up, deflate Chantel, and rock off. So I am uh, seeing Mr. Coffee tonight. He Actually, Daisy's in her queue. booked transportation here and, oh, she's in the queue? Yeah. And um, he booked a hotel, so he really wants to see me, so must be good to come three hours to see me. Sounds desperate to me. Now Chantelle has taken notice of all of those that make videos on her, more notably Barbecue Chicken and someone else called Sarah Jane. Now Sarah Jane was once one of Chantelle's very important beezers. Sarah Jane now makes her own content doing mukbangs and little chit chats. Chantelle on her community post, which has all been deleted as is the case, has been going in on her but also on Barbecue Chicken and also garlic bread or gorlic bread to give the correct name. Um, the less said about that, the better. It's too cringy and funny. I'll link a video I've done down below on that by saying, anyone got any dirt on the stale garlic bread? I'd love to expose them on my reaction channel coming soon. Benzo Brain, you are the next subject. 
watch. Except no one cares who you are. Don't you have a sick mother to take care of? Sad you were jealous and obsessed with me, Frump Master 2000. <laughs> I actually like that name. Also, telling someone how they should process trauma is messed up and you are a loser if you are this kind of person. While I'm certain there are many who are telling you what they think you should do, that doesn't mean they're telling you what to do. They're merely offering words of advice. What you do is ultimately, and most can agree here, your decision. It's why you keep making mistakes, because you keep on ignoring this sound advice. I'm certain you've been through a lot in your life, genuinely. However, a lot of the choices you have made as an adult fall at your feet, because even when you are shown the exit, you turn and go, I'm better than that and I'll make my own one. Oh, and one last community post referencing Sarah Jane. You really gonna come for me doing mukbangs when you are literally heavier than me and frumpier? And you do calm mukbangs every day? Ochre, make it make sense. Stay mad, leech. By the way, with Chantal handling her trauma so well, on her Instagram she posted this picture. The ring around it is there for a reason because if you look closer you'll see she is still watching Nada and Didi. You are totally over, yet totally not over, the Nada peen that has been seen by everyone because he whipped it out and at the time still had his channel. He might still at the end of the year, I'm making this in September, who knows. And I guess while we're talking about Nada and Didi, Chantel made a stream, the final one where she'll ever react to them, ever, where she said the following. What do you think you are? You think you're f***ing hotter than the men I'm f***ing right now? She looks like the guy from the dentist. Wait, 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 wait. The hair, just the hair. I'm just comparing the hair for... Bitch, you're f***ing Hermie. My mother's sick. I thought you were saying my mother, okay? Oh my god, he's such a liar. Didi, you look like a dumb f***. Those videos came out of him abusing you. And you are the biggest dumbass sitting there looking like Jeffrey Ugly Ass Dahmer, thinking you have one up on me because you have this STD giving loser beside you. Now, if you're a supporter of her channel or an eagle-eyed viewer, which many of you undoubtedly are or are not, depending on whether or not you're interested in this particular type of creator and these types of videos, you will have heard of The Postcard Club. Because Chantal was gonna go traveling and she would send all her very important beezers postcards, which to me reeked of wrong because it meant getting the personal details of those people that supported you. I don't think that's a good idea at all. Well, Chantel hasn't sent a single one out. There are people who won prizes when she went to Cuba and got loads of free swag at the hotel that she gave out that didn't receive it. And to support this belief that it might well not be all above board, Chantel said the following. Oh my god, Sherry, hi! Oh my god, the postcard club! Thank you, Sherry! Even though it's a scam right now. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm gonna get you guys a postcard, don't worry. Fun fact. If you subscribe to Amazon Prime, you get one free subscription to Twitch you can use. So you can use it on me. See you there. I do plan on doing these more regularly. We can also do watch parties. 12 a.m. Eastern, a sleep stream. What's the T in sleep? The, the, the spelling's wrong. Edited. Update. I'm so sorry, guys. I'm actually quite ill tonight. I will promise, however, to move the Twitch stream to tomorrow night. I should feel better by then. Thank you for your understanding. I hate doing this to you guys. I will work on that. Haven't you streamed when ill multiple times? Are you sure this isn't something to do with you kind of, you know omnomming on things that you shouldn't be omnomming on and then streaming the same stuff you've also been known to smoke now september's gonna be really interesting just saying in advance now there was more to add to the earlier referenced garlic bread debacle where she had threatened to put garlic bread in jail spoiler garlic bread at time of recording isn't really much in the way of a creator anymore owing to some rather pathetic interrelationship bollocks that even Chantel can laugh at because this is beyond pathetic. I want to insert it now because it was on the 9th of August that Chantal had made these threats. And it is right we reference it while also pointing out Gorlick Bread's an idiot. At the start of this month, I indicated Chantal said she'd be going for a walk. Well, Chantal finally did it, everyone. Do we now like to have some kind of <laughs> achievement unlocked? You waddled your way to victory. Yeah. 
Alternatively, I don't know, why does your mom wear stripper boot, stripper heels? Because Chantal is still going on about Didi and Nada, Didi has her own channel and Didi has started live streaming her own content. At time of recording, she had done three live streams and one pedicure thing. The ones that did well, even though she wanted to avoid the drama, which is what you get from this community post, were ones responding to Chantel. So I wonder what she's really going to do. Does it get the noggin joggin, perhaps? I think we all know for a fact Chantel is going to give it some, and Dee Dee is going to dish it out here, especially if the views on Nada's happen to dry up or he gets yeeted. He'll need an outlet after all when he's done, you know, being super nice to you and lovely at all times. Now the reason we bring this up is because Chantel responded to the Don't Be Jealous Foodie Beauty He Loves Me The Most livestream. Yay! Where Chantel said some of the most intellectual commentary you could ever think of ever by saying the following. If that was you, in my situation, you frigging obsessed weirdo, you would definitely be mad if I swooped in and just spent some time at your boyfriend's house. Look, just because he's telling you he wasn't my boyfriend, the fact that he's telling me that, I thought that, yeah. This has been claimed either. So these words that come out of your mouth, Chantal, I was a friend that was there for Nader, and thank God that I got him out of fucking Gatineau. Her moral compass is all off, but thinks she is better than anyone. Life not yours. I wasn't obsessed with you at all. That's how You're I, not? I, I made contact with Nader. That's really what it boils down to. I am not obsessed with you, Chantal. And she's mad at me. She's not over him. Here's the thing, bitch. You think you won a prize. We have all seen how horrible he is, and nobody's jealous. Uh. So before we inevitably come back to talking about Didi, Nada, and Chantel, let's talk about Chantel's future plans. You see, she wants to travel, take the beezing to a globe-trotting level. And to do this, some sacrifices may well have to be made. For example, BBJ, her cat. A cat that many of us wish was in a better home, looked after and not living in literal squalor. September might change that, but we'll see. Chantel has said that if she goes traveling, and if BBJ's health declines just enough, she'll do the following. Seems like she's in her last stage of life. Yeah, so she might not even, like... If I see her health super declined by the time I want to tra travel, I might just put her down. Oh my god! And keep her ashes. I'd like to believe I can speak for everyone when I say the following. Give the cat to a loving home, because BBJ deserves better than what you give BBJ. No one likes it when someone just says, oh, I'll cut ties, but I'll keep the ashes. But I'll cut ties. How about, instead of blowing all the money you make on all the poor decisions you continue to make, Instead, invest it in your cat's health and your health. Maybe buy a better chair as well. Hi, Natter. Hi, Dee Dee. Here's the real reason I delete my live streams that I talk shit about you in. Because you're not worth it and you're, I don't want your shit stain on my channel. So there you go. Have a nice life together. Bye. That video is rather fascinating because at no point does she really um stop. She carries on talking about them anyway. You can keep telling us you're going through a transition phase of reducing their presence on your channel, but you know as well as I do, you've been at this longer than I have as a creator. Controversy does generate attention. If they keep talking about you, you're going to keep replying. The same was said for everyone that used to respond to you in the past, long before you became this version of you. When you did videos predominantly, you had responded to others intentionally choosing those that you could punch down on because you knew you couldn't really be held accountable in the same way you are now. Whereas now you're very impulsive on your live stream format because also you know there's more money in it. Not that you're making too much of it, but I thought I'd just put it out there right now anyway. Although if you are making a lot of money, you tell us anyway, which is somewhat contradictory to you also saying at the same time, my personal life is my business and I don't have to tell you anything. Let me now dab on you by telling you how much I made this month. Now continuing on, Chantel went on another adventure, because she is genuinely, genuinely balls deep in this idea of traveling. This time, she went to the mall. 
Oh, everybody, come and play. Throw every last care away. Let's go to the mall today. <laughs> At least you're getting out. So here's the thing. All right. This guy is young, very young. He's new here. When I first met him, he didn't ask me for money. So we had sex, whatever. And then he he's really new here. So he like really doesn't even like have a good job or anything. So I was just like, we were maybe going to work together and do like videos together. Like, you know what I mean? Because maybe we could make a lot of money. Like, because he has a really like nice, you know, I think that he could make decent money on that. And he needs money, you know? So, and I needed partners for OnlyFans. In short, yes, Chantel is scouting for talent to collaborate with her on OnlyFoopa. I guess the only drawback is, if this gentleman really needs money, perhaps collaborating with multiple creators could well benefit. Because once he does it with you, and only you, one or two people will pay for it and then just share it all over Twitter, which will invariably end up with me seeing it through irate Alex, who has played the card, if I have to see it, now all of you now have to see it. I want to stretch my legs. <laughs> oh, well, this is awkward. Hi. Well, hello. Oh, yes. I feel like you're too close. <laughs> <sighs> Other announcements that happened towards the mid-range of this month included that Chantal is looking at getting two apartments, or one, or two, or one. I really couldn't be sure. One thing I did notice that stood out during this time with this uncertainty was that Chantal decided to out a friend of hers for having some issues, mental health issues more notably, and then making it all about herself. Also, like, I have a friend and they are going through a lot of stuff, like, and, like, they reached out to me, I guess, like, maybe just for help as a friend. And mentally, I just don't even feel like I can help them. And then I'm like, why? Like, this person is a really good friend and I've known them for a long time. So why am I not wanting to help them more? Like, you know, like, things like they were, like, like really serious. Like, they were, like, not wanting to live serious. So they're, like, in, an, in the hospital and they're close by and I feel like I should go visit them. And I just feel like I can't. Like, I can't. I honestly have been trying seriously really really trying not to even go to the psyche ER myself sometimes so it's like don't feel bad that you can't put aside your own neurotic narcissism for one moment to go and look after a friend who's asked you to be there for her understandably with your own problems which should be considered first and foremost you would not want to risk putting your own already fragile ego secondary to somebody else now with Chantel doing this super serial and very sensitive video stream thing she always does and then says far too much because it's in her nature, Shannon, who she had out as being in hospital and other such business, uh, clapped back on Twitter, which in turn led to Chantel double clapping back. Are you serious? I never even said her f***ing name. Now she's gonna try for sympathy and try to be an enemy again. What's the point of posting my text messages and my phone number? Okay, time to block Shannon for my f***ing life for good. Chantel's rant does go on for quite some time, it's not worth listening to. The larger point is what seems to have been missed by Chantel, in favour of the much smaller points that she would rather be the bigger point. A simple flip of what is the more important aspect, I guess. Now something you might not know is that Chantel from time to time likes to emulate the person she hates and loves and hates, her dear favourite dainty girl, Amberlynn Reed, by doing weigh-ins, where many have speculated where Chantel sits. I myself thought she was sitting around, let's say, 370 to 390. But we have a weigh-in that has since been deleted from Chantal's channel. I don't have my stand here, so day two weigh-in is going to be a little weird, but you can see me. Day two. Body weight is 338.8 pounds. Do forgive me because this might seem like a dig but I find it very hard to believe that you only weigh 338. I know you are quite short, and so things might seem bigger when they're not, but you push that limit, and I find it, yes, difficult to comprehend that your weight is 
60 pounds less than where most of us think you are, 50 for myself. Continuing on with the community posts from Chantel, it is actually very fitting that French fried Grawl is the one visiting Shannon in the hospital. You ran to her open, vile arms and had no problem throwing me under the bus when I was going through exactly what you are now. You also made an entire reaction channel about me outing a lot of private information about myself. Gaslating, I assume gaslighting, doesn't work with me, sorry. It sucks that a friendship of so many years has to end. But if it is ending because I cannot get over the fact that you have betrayed me so much, it was never a friendship to begin with. I am barely able to function myself right now. I have to protect myself and my own mental health, and that includes keeping toxic people away from it. If you want to villainize me for everything as usual, please feel free. Comments turned off. Much like many things these days. Now, I initially didn't know whether she was talking about FFG, who I had speculated for a long time was your glorified editor or biographer, or Shannon. But then I realized it has to be FFG. Got to keep that ruse going, right? <laughs> I don't, I shower and don't drip dry when I'm with a man. I'm in my room by myself. Who cares if I stink? This coming from the same person who once said, you don't have to wash your hands if you don't wipe. This also from the same person many believe buys her own subs to inflate her numbers because her stream numbers were declining during the month of August, yet somehow her subscriber count when going down would suddenly miraculously jump up again. All of that's alleged though. As we creep into the tail end of the month, Nada El Shami had started copyright striking everyone. Over 140 videos were hit with many people going to ground because of it, or fighting them because they had so many strikes laid at their feet, or because he does not know what the copyright system is or how to use terms of service. Chantel decided she would emulate Daddy Naddy Chicken Sushi Senpai by telling stream snipers she was going for them. So I guess in this instance, the only one of note would be French Fried Goral, your biographer. She also, because she realized things weren't going so well, to do a little variety on her channel by having an open chat. Her belief was that by doing this, more people would become members when they see the benefits of member-only mode. Engage in the community, maybe a turnaround, a change in her fortunes. Underneath this, I noticed on my Discord server a video by Gorolic Bread. Yeah, it turns out I've got a few of them downloaded. Should we see what he had to say? If you can read those words and hear my voice. Yeah, that's enough of that shit. Chantel's community tab. I will no longer be doing any streams other than private ones and recorded videos starting tomorrow heart emoji. That was a lie. And also, I don't care if I don't get views. Making private bees streams at all. Worth it. Thumb up and heart emoji. Anyways, payday so huge. Shopping today with P later. I will spoil him, so see you soon. While we're here, does anyone know what this is about? Oh, by the way, a certain reaction channel got porn bombed and I have the link to the porn bomb like you did for me with Omegle. I can easily report your channel for porn bombing. Maybe um, karma is such thing as something or other. During the end of this month, there was also a Twitter account that existed. I say existed in the past tense because it's not so active now. It was believed it was being used as a means to target, dox, spread the information of members of Hater Nation or whatever it is the current name iteration of this group is. Some believed it was Chantel. The majority believed it was Didi. Because he liked to be contrarian, different, and an idiot, Gorlick bred on a community tab of his own, actually tagged Nada and said, I do not feel that either Nada or Didi are the persons offering it publicly. He took their side a lot. It was a bit sus. The account has since been terminated or doesn't exist anymore. Chantel did believe it was somebody else with the YouTube name Louise. I'm not going to put the full name out there. And I'm not going to show the post either. Just that Chantel did believe it was somebody else called Louise. The final thing I'd like to talk about for the month of August 2022 for Chantel is a live stream since deleted called I Spoke to YouTube. Top comment. I couldn't care less about a word of this anymore, but I was disgusted at the end for poor little BBJ. All she wants is some attention and love, and what she got is a face full of toxic smoke and ignored. I didn't realize Chantal was channeling Alinity. Next one. This just proves you and Nada are in it together, and the reason people no longer watch you isn't because of the reaction channels and restreams with commentary. They don't watch you because it's the same thing regurgitated over and over. The raging, the drug use, putting people down, the constant swearing, the farting, the food, the lies, talking about Nader and Didi, and the fact that you just aren't very nice 
are all reasons why people have turned off. Take some responsibility for the fact that your own channel is going downhill and stop blaming everyone else. You need to take some accountability at some point. Well, with this all in mind, September is going to be an absolute blast, isn't it? For the month of September, you're going to notice something missing, and that is a lot of Chantal's content. Granted, clippers, stream snipers, and other forms of reaction response channels will have the content on their channel. Of course they will, but the unedited version will not be there. And there's a reason for it in October, which has been dubbed the Muslim Ark. I wish it were a joke, but alas, it is not. So instead, we're going to start with a video called Chantel's Odd Behavior, taken from the stream that is deleted, Bees In Without a Reason. Thank feck for barbecue chicken's clips. Sweetie. A demon bites his green peen, ew. I'm not diabetic. On a scale of one to beyond oblivion, how high do you think Chantel was? Last month we spoke about how Chantel and Amberlyn Reed had started a feud. This feud had been going on for a while. It started, for those who don't remember, because Amber had apologized to Nada, something which she later recanted because Nada's, well, rather shitty behavior came to the forefront and everyone realized, oh, I guess he actually is as much of a dickhead as everyone thought. Chantel, though, wouldn't let it go, but when Amber had a fall, <laughs> it was quite a funny one, Chantel replied by referring to it as a cankle, which started a bit of a back and forth. Now, I thought they'd resolve this with a boxing match, which I would absolutely pay to see. But no, it was community posts and passive aggressiveness. Uh, she was mad because I said cankle and I was fat shaming her. Like, you're fat shaming yourself. I didn't say there was anything wrong with having a cankle. I merely stated that you have a cankle and that's fine because I have a fupa. I'm not making fun of anybody who has a cankle. What's the big deal? Have a sense of humor about yourself, man. Okay, so here's the thing. I guess all these years I was like defending her against fat shaming. She has a right to feel offended as well. But I have a right to not give a shit either. On the 5th of September, word got out that Chantel had started dating a new man. In also now privated streams, it's official and let's bees. Chantel had an announcement with the top comment on the first now privated being, can't wait to follow this definitely mature, functional and healthy relationship. As you can see from the thumbnail of it, there's a doll involved. The second let's bees, top comment, rolls out the red carpet to abusive people. Chantel, the exclusive doormat collection on sale now. Well, there's more chance of that actually happening than her sending out those postcards. On Twitter, Malaki Meter had tweeted, Foodie's latest Instagram pic. How much do you think he charges by the hour? What cracked me up with this post of taken heart emoji is, there's a striking similarity in like cheek and jawline structure to that of Nada, the shirt looks like it's made out of a curtain, and the watch is cheap as Fook. Just saying though, tweeted not long after that, and he was doxxed. With her later tweeting, WTF is she on in caps? Because, and I found this out through failure to lunch, Foodie tells her boyfriend, whom she has never met, that she loves him on her live stream. And underneath that, already with the I love you, Holy F. And I'm going to play that clip. <laughs> Yay! Aww. See? So he passed the test. <clears throat> if you're watching, I love you. <laughs> Aww. Uh -huh. See? Early on in September, Daniel Salzbach, aka Mr. Repsion, dropped his rather lengthy video, long awaited video, on Nada El Scammy. El Scummy. El Shami. Chantel took great umbrage with a number of the points that Repsion made. More notably, she accused him of victim blaming, with Repsion addressing this on Twitter by saying, 
Hey, foodie beauty, since in your deranged head you think I'm victim blaming you in your newest stream, I'm not and wouldn't. Why do you still have videos on your YouTube channel promoting and vlogging with Nada El Shami? Very strange. Fascinating. Also, countless videos of you yelling at the camera that you started his career and you're responsible for his YouTube channel, your own words. That is not victim shaming anyone. It is basing it on factual evidence and documentation. You should learn what it is. Now, Chantal responded to this with a 1 minute 54 second video titled Creating a YouTube Account Tutorial for Repsion, which has since been privated. Repsion had replied to this with, Thank you very much. I will make sure I use this knowledge in my upcoming video. A few clicks completely devoids anyone of personal responsibilities. I love this. Hey, Repsion. This is a message coming to you with all of my makeup all over my face. So, I just discovered some, I guess, tweets that you so passionately put out that you are going to destroy Nader El Shami, blah, blah, blah. That's all fine and dandy. But I also see that you are accusing me in your post of giving him a platform. No, 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 no. You need to keep that same energy all the way off with it and accuse YouTube of giving him a platform. Because you see, Repsion, as smart as you are, you fail to realize that creating a YouTube channel is as easy for anybody in any f***ing language as a click of a button. Now, while there are a number of other instances during the course of this month where Chantel does address Repsion, this is one of the last times Repsion addresses her until he drops his videos. I am not going to be reading this during the video, so please pause the video if you need to to read this to understand it. Instead, we're just going to skip to another clip of Chantel and her apex driving. Hello! You were so bored? Yeah, I need food. Actually, this is an extra large. I got it at Jonka too. When I told Mr. Coffee that I'm going to be driving home, he's like, No! Okay, I'll go get you, get you coffee. And he's like, you, like, you want it, uh, black or with milk and sugar? And I'm like, milk and sugar. So he went out again. And when he brought it back, I was like, <laughs> I wanted to say so bad. This is why you're Mr. Coffee. But he ne we never talk about my videos, but he does, he must watch them because he had a piece of cheese and oatmeal cookie. Yeah, because then I was like, uh, I don't know why I brought up orange julep. It just happens in conversation randomly. So I was like, he's like, oh yeah, orange julep I heard in your video. And then I was like, what? Why does my look like a basketball right now? I was like, you watch my my videos, but I see I seen Roman has Tony lights now. The only thing, the only saving grace that kept me from crashing into a tree no i wasn't like sleepy but i was just like if i don't like it was just road dark road and then the van i was following this effing fucking van it might still be the same van ahead of me right now getting their order i don't know a van ahead of me i see them like i thought they were turning right because of the way they swerved over all of a sudden all of a sudden not i oh, fuck. and whenever you have to react to something in real time like so fast when you have to react to something knee-jerk reaction before your brain has an, a, a chance to process what's happening a baby skunk is coming towards my wheel it's almost like time slows down it's just like it all happens so fast i i swerved I don't know. I swerved. I just swerved a bunch of times. Something I haven't mentioned much during the month of September is the continued for many months going on. It doesn't really want to show any signs of relenting back and forth concerning DD Nada versus Foodie Beauty. But don't worry, everyone, because apparently there's a good reason for this. I'm still barely out of these throats. I'm still in there. You guys see Nada and I going back and forth all this shit. I'm still in this abusive relationship. You know what? I'm just going to say that. I'm still in this abusive relationship. I'm not fully out of it. So 
everyone. Whatever it is she is attempting to sell, I don't believe anyone watching her is going to buy it. Mostly because we know she desperately wants Nada. We especially know this as we edge closer to the end of the year with what Chantel chooses as her future. It is further supported by a now privated stream, yes I still love him. Do I need to tell you what she says? I don't. It's also supported by a video tweeted out by Shenanigans. Chantel tried messaging Nada. To put different name, different picture, after when you contact you put your name, that I accept when I know this picture. So at least it's stupid. When you change the picture, change the name. Melissa Cook. Her picture, it changed recently, but she forgot uh, to change this Chantal. So at least change the name, so I will accept. The friend request when I know it's you, but you change just the picture. I know you're blind. See, oh, you see the picture. So he, he accepted. Interestingly, that's actually one video in a number of videos within a Twitter thread, where Chantal been messaging as early as September the 5th. Chantal called during the stream. Nada also then went on to address the Gorlick bread situation, which is not relevant to this video. Needless to say, it's cringy and hilarious. But we're going to move on, because Chantel responded with, I will help everyone tail Nada Al Shami down. Let's do it. Well then. Fucking swear on all that's holy. And you look at me now. And I will tell you, it will never, ever happen again. <laughs> oh, I'm going to say it. He will never. I, oh, no. He'll never get another ounce of my fucking attention. He nothing, want it. nothing. 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 <laughs> no. No, this was it. like, this was like a wake up call. <laughs> I don't know why I so was like I was still delusional. Still are. Still delusional. Currently, still yeah. are. Being the super classy bish that she is, she also paid respect to the then recently deceased Life by Jen. Yeah, I'm reading it in her honor. <laughs> Now understandably that went down like a lump of lead, so Chantal put out a community post, rest in peace, Jennifer Gwen Ann, to then not long after do a stream titled It's Official Again, with many people believing, since it is deleted, that this is just a way of saying, look at me, look at me. Also because she got caught trying to get Nada back, so um, no optics look good. Some did believe that much like food and edibles, this is just another one of your addictions. Much like that of all the rubbish behind you, not looking after your pets, eating too much food, consuming far too much of the well not so legal stuff, and we can add to that, lying. On the screen now is a video titled New Ark Incoming. It has the Sex and the City music to it, so naturally I can't play the audio from it. But many in the comments have written, your insanity has no limits, does it? Yes, that's exactly why you are where you are in life. I'm absolutely loving it for you. And getting an apartment in Montreal with the hope that Dee Dee runs out of money and Nada suddenly needs a place to stay is not a glow up Chantal. As Chantal is renowned for being very good with her money and a budding philanthropist, she on her community tab put out, what should I get for dinner tonight with my credit card? I have been informed this is a prepaid thing as opposed to what I thought it was courtesy of a research stream, which got approved for monetization, which surprised me to no end. With my favorite replies including, fast food, since you're on a 10,000 calorie diet, you'll be 500 pounds in six months easy, your apostrophe RE. Another one, if you really want to shock us, get approved for an apartment. And didn't you say your diet starts today? How about something healthy? Limit starches, complex carbs, and try not to include simple carbs. Limited dairy, protein and veggies perhaps, preferably salmon, and not drenched in a sugar cream based sauce. I think she should get a salt base, but we all know what she really craves. She craves poutine with her brother, aka S Jam. Is S Jam the person whose penis I've seen now? And why does S Jam look like McGee from NCIS? She's just laying there going. Yeah, that's what they're doing. That's what he used to make. He used to like make me do that when I was super tired and not want to like do it anymore. 
Good for you guys. <laughs> I 150 million percent promise you I'm over his disgusting self, okay? Like 130 million percent. That was a reference to Nada pulling down his shorts during a live stream where you could then see his baby carrot peen. And then Dee Dee seeing it goes, uh, Nada, uh, what are we going to do with you? And then, you know, touches him during the stream while cuddling him. Yeah. He only removed it though for a while because he respects his viewers according to him and this is also a distraction from Chantel. As you can see, she lied in her own response to it. Now we need to go back because yet again Chantel has to mention Repsion and tag him because she's not done raging about him but not wasting her time beezing and talking about the video which would get her more views. A community post seemed to be the more appropriate way for her to respond to it. So my reaction to Repsion's video will be here because I'm not cutting into our beezing time lol. Now technically. And very and quite literally I did help Nada El Shami click create and make a YouTube channel. When? I was also in a that relationship with him and stood by him. I actually did this early on in the relationship because he guilted me for talking about him in a bad way. What bothers me about your angle here is, why is it relevant that I showed him where to click a button? It's not, other than to make a jab at the fact that I, also a victim of Nada, helped him make a channel to cook because I cared about him and didn't have an effing crystal ball to see he would be a psycho in the future. I also victim shamed Mei at the same time because I was with him and being that and manipulated by him at the time and believed his lies. Well there's your get out of jail free card from the earlier comments I guess where you don't need a crystal ball because you just ignored everything about what he had done. So I didn't believe that he did what he did because it didn't make sense. Heck, I didn't even know Mei came down until after the fact. I'm still waiting on proof of my involvement in that eye rolling emoji. By the way, this same alleged victim has a new video out bashing me for no reason again. Yay. People hate me and don't understand DV, so they dismiss my experiences because of this. You are dismissive of mine, Repsion, and are victim shaming with comments like yours, because you should realize that DV victims will believe the lies of their that and do what they are told to do, and your comment served only to make me look responsible for his actions or for him being on YouTube when it is not as black and white as that. I also brought him on the scene by outing his that, but that is overlooked too. I don't hear you blaming Dee Dee in the same way as she is doing everything to keep him relevant right now and supporting him more so. Anyways, maybe just take your own advice and just own it and admit your comment was bad, just like you expect me to own it for Nada being on YouTube. It is what it is. That happened. People know him. Me helping him at a time when I didn't know what he was, like is not the angle to focus on here. But hey, love the plug for the gummies, keep eating squirrel my man, riveting content. There are a number of issues with this but we're going to move on instead. Chantel Community Post, found this note from July, oh how times have not changed. I'm basically flirting with my new boyfriend and cleaning up my life a bit, I'll be back when I can, kisses. A company that is an ASAP to-do list for July 22nd and there isn't a single thing on that that she actually did or has done at all beyond just eating on camera and not looking after herself or her cats or her dependent Pete. As you will know from earlier in this month and possibly mentioned in the month of August, Chantel is moving into a mansion which is actually a four bedroom fully furnished house. What we weren't too sure about was the moving date. Thanks to Pete's, we know. I'm moving, yes. Going to, uh, we'll be moving uh, sometime next week. Or did know. We kind of do and don't. Because he gave us one date and Chantel gave us something else. Wait, where did Pete say that we're moving this week? I don't think Pete even knows what's going on. <laughs> I really, this proves to me, I don't think Pete knows what's going on. We are moving no later than November 1st. Why would I lie about when I'm moving? I mean, who cares about that? Like, it doesn't matter when I'm moving, you know? Oh, and before I forget, Chantel name dropped me. I'm honored you would know my name after all these years. I don't know how people don't think, like, they just laugh at that. Oh, ha, 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 people are messing with your livelihood. You're just mad your views are down. Ha, ha, ha. Like, okay, like, are you serious? Like, yeah, that would bug any YouTuber, you dumb moron. Like, I guess maybe just because I call people dumb morons, I'm mean, I look meaner when I express myself. But it's just so dumb. Wh who cares if they do a series on me? Like, I've already had a series on me. Didn't somebody else with an on name already do? How many people with the on ending, Omegon, Repsion, how many people are going to out me for being a f***ing 
card. While we're still talking about this potential move, because I just wanted to throw Senpai noticing me for a moment into the mix, apparently the house that they intended to move into comes with two very pampered cats already. Chantelle, on her own live stream, got called out by her neighbour for being inept as Fook, and courtesy of Mary Beth Wiley, Foodie has not included Pete in any of the decision making about this move, or even told him once when she makes a decision. And now he wants to get rid of his comics that he spent thousands on and years collecting, which is considered by many a red flag. And she probably needs to keep an eye on him. Leaving behind his most treasured possessions, somehow she's managed to make it about herself. She took him every Wednesday to buy those, and now he doesn't want them. It was a waste of her time, but she's an empath, everyone. I'm going to spoil this now. They don't move into that house. Much like the postcards, the word scam seems appropriate. I don't do coke on f***ing camera, you dumb idiot. I'm not going to lie, watching our eyebrows raised right at the end of that uh, makes it not impossible for me to record this without, without laughing every single time. Oh, Chantel. Now, while there was some back and forth with stories of from whoever the internet and that crowd, a bunch of community posts, the one thing we really need to talk about is Chantel's foray into fashion. I'm going to play some clips and then I'm going to show a picture. We'll talk about all of that afterwards. That is one of Chantal's archivers, or editors, whichever you prefer. Her name is French Fried and all the other names, by all means call her a hater, but not a hater, totally a rogue, Goral, who attended this fashion show. Now, I don't really care about her presence in the slightest. It was funny, nothing more beyond that. I shitposted on Twitter by saying don't skip leg day, she got really angry about it, and I decided to troll her some more. None of it relevant to this video. The fallout though because of Chantel though is that Chantel had to remove any references to this fashion show because the people who ran it, I don't think they realized just how toxic, just how toxic her community is and the backlash they received for using her. Other things that really topped off this month. Chantal wanted to know where FFG worked so she could, you know, have a conversation. She restated a comment which said, so there's three little bastards running around northern Turkey right now by inserting the word black into it. A slip, perhaps. Chantal's Patreon for a bulk of this month was under review while she was also getting super chats asking her why do we have to pay for another $5 a month to see content? A fair point. If you're a Beezer, you shouldn't also be a Patreon. Patron. Patreon? Patron? Whatever. And then there's one last thing that we should mention. It's the fact that yet again, Lady Dingleberry the First was talking to minors on Omegle. For God's sake, Chantel, I can't play the clip with the audio because I'd get into trouble for that. But you really should at this point know better. Oh, and as a suitable way of ending the month, her Patreon was gone at the end of September, after being under review for a while. So as we are done with September, I'm going to end part three of this video with the following statement. October commences a new arc for Chantel, one that I will admit made me think, is she trying to copy Amy's life journey? It's called the Muslim arc, along with the possibility of Chantel moving not to a four bedroom house somewhere in Canada, but to some hovel in Kuwait. Inshallah, everyone. Chantal has changed.